The alleged attack on the convoy of a member of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Adefisoyi, popularly known as Small Alaji in Idori, by political talks, has continued to generate reactions from different quarters. The lawmaker who is representing Idori Federal Constituency at the House of Representatives was allegedly attacked while returning from an outing. The um, Commissioner of Police, dressing journalist in Idori. Atefi Soya accused a candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP for the House of Representatives and his supporters of carrying out the attack. His vehicle was shot and part of his windscreen was partly affected. I was on my way to Accra today with my convoy. You know, uh, we've got two Elox and uh, my Lexus car and uh, we were suddenly attacked. You know, I, I think around the uh, Oyinite area in the, in the local government. Um, the guys came, came, came out from the islands and they, they, they attacked us suddenly and with guns and machetes and all that and they shot at my car. I mean, they were putting on PDP caps and I think I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting um, uh, the PDP MSC candidate. But the PDP candidate, Festus Akin Basso, exonerated himself and his supporters from the attack, describing the allegation as a blatant lie. He accused the APC lawmaker of sponsoring Togri in the community. It was a big joke. I was just laughing. Because I never have such a thing and I believe that he cannot do the same thing to me. For the past three days, he has been trying to demonstrate a lot of things across the community. Even he also went out to the same um, spot to attack some PDP boys. The police in the state have however launched an investigation into the matter. At the beginning of the year, major federal universities across the country announced hikes in registration and tuition fees for students. The fee hike announcement came shortly after the suspension of the strike by the Academic Staff Union of Universities and calls by lecturers and other stakeholders for better funding of the tertiary education system in Nigeria. Highlighting the consequences of the increase in tuition fees and student, the, the Northern Student Coalition says if not reversed, the hike will lead to more students dropping out. Damaging policies are part of a calculated design to continuously weaken the North educationally and popularize it economically. It follows that the North will feel the pain of the hike in tuition. Tension continues to rise ahead of Nigeria's general elections scheduled for February this year, 2023. Reports of violent attacks on individuals and INEC facilities across the country have sparked up genuine concerns among the electorate and officials of the electoral body who fear that the attacks may affect the schedule of the elections. But the federal government has continued to reassure Nigerians that it has everything under control and there is nothing to fear. At the 17th edition of the President Muhammad Buhari's Cocard series, Nigeria's Information Minister insists the elections will hold as scheduled. The position of the federal government remains that the 2023 elections will be held as planned. Nothing has happened to change that position. We are aware that INF is working with the security agencies to ensure that the elections are successfully held across the country. The security agencies have also continued to assure Nigerians that they are working tirelessly to ensure that the elections are held in a peaceful atmosphere. Therefore, there is no cause for alarm. The successful containment of the COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria is one of the hallmarks of the Buhari administration. The Minister of Health says his ministry has been very active in preventive health, especially putting in place measures and policies to prevent a resurgence of the COVID-19 virus and other infectious diseases. 